New at 5.30, a 17 News special report as the streets of Bakersfield have become deadly for some drivers looking to get a cheap thrill. 17 News photographer Rudy Garcia captured illegal street racers taking their vehicles to extremes and neighbors living near these makeshift drag strips want that racing stop. And now 17's Mary Kate Paquette shares how local law enforcement is putting the brakes on these drag races. Usually quiet neighborhoods become amateur speedways, putting lives in jeopardy. Concerned neighbors want police to take action, stopping these drivers in their tracks. The smell of exhaust, burning rubber, the sound of a motor being pushed to its limit. Fast and furious street racing takes over Marilyn Gorman's southwest neighborhood. You constantly have this anxiety. Gorman has lived off Panama Lane for a little over a year. Well, you feel like you live on the freeway. You feel like you're in the middle of the freeway. And that you're basically a sitting target. A sitting target anticipating the worst. Is this one coming through our fence? Catherine Fowler's house backs up to Weibel Road near Taft Highway hit really close to home because that could have gone through my brick wall. Just outside her house this past October, a driver lost control. A woman was killed. It could have gone into my children's bedroom. It no longer affected just them. It now affected me. The Bakersfield Police Department is cracking down. We're saturating the area. A task force rolls into action. Bringing in a large amount of officers from different details to enforce traffic violations. The drivers not only take over the streets, they modify their cars to make them loud, removing anti-smog devices, maximizing speed, and increasing decibels. All illegal. I can tell you that right now. Illegal activity is not limited to neighborhoods. Parking lots of schools and businesses are tattooed with skid marks. We ask the businesses to help us. Going after drivers from a different angle. Given us the authority to enforce trespassing on their properties. Winco on Panama Lane has taken more decisive action. The individuals like at Winco that want to shop can't get up and down the aisles because the cars are doing laps. Installing temporary barriers to prevent drivers from taking over the store's parking lot. And we're just as concerned about the drivers of the vehicle as we are ourselves. Property is becoming damaged and people are getting killed. The BPD Impact Unit has been combating street racing for six months, and while they say their efforts have been effective, they need your help. You can report street racing by calling BPD at 327-7111. Mary Kay Pocket, 17 News.